Here, that guy's go for the day go shift. For it. Go for, go go for the day shift. Oh, Learn man. Learn schedule a little bit. Go in. You'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, it was a day shift kind of thing, and it was slower. So um, you could talk a little. So we could talk a little. Um, I had known his good friend was a regular. He came in all the time, and just the rest is his. And yeah. so he came by, <laughs> and then did you write your number on the check no, with a heart? He, no, he <laughs> gave me his number, and they told me to meet them or like text, and maybe we'll meet up later after. It was like their birthday weekend, I think. And um, I was like, eh. my all my friends were out of town. By the way, I should mention they all went to Hill and Head for like the weekend, and I. Did not go. It's working. Yeah. So I, yeah, I had to work. So I uh, met my now husband, his good friend, and probably like five other guys at their house in a neighboring town in Stowe and went to the bar with them by myself. I don't know if mom knows this. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right? I was 20 years old. Did anybody? Wow. Right? That's like one of those New York Times stories that it's like, and this is what happened. I went there by myself at 20 years old. <laughs> right? uh, we're going to get, we're dig into here. all this a little bit deeper. Right after this okay we are back and we are digging into the into the ice but you ever break a glass in ice oh that's the worst it's the uh, worst you gotta drain the whole thing <laughs> I, it's the and worst you, when someone else does it to you and yeah. i know <laughs> it's just like a slow motion thing like no uh, and then it just all goes yeah, bad it's all bad so if you're um an attractive uh Male or female waiter or uh, waitress or bartender, you assume they're hitting on you? <laughs> Do you assume they're talking to you? Because, like, what's the play there? Like, because you're trying to be nice because you want them to give you more money and enjoy the experience. Yeah. I mean, you're like, of course he's hitting on me. Well, so, like, I think you gotta, like, use your, I don't know, like, use your own kind of inner feelings and your judgment and kind of see where it's going. I mean, there was a... We all have terrible judgment. That's true, especially (laughs) after a shift. But, I mean, there was a lot of times where I would go out with a group of people after we get off work, after I was done bartending, and I was like, what the hell did I just do? Like, that was a terrible idea, never doing that again. And then it's even worse is that they'll come back in, like, the next week and be like, hey, you want to come out again? Yeah. What have I done? Right, and you're like, oh, shit. So that that is the difference between working in a tourist environment and working in a a regular environment or a small town where they people... Because if a guy, if you're a, um, you know, a bartender here and somebody likes you, they could sit in that chair every night. Ever. Okay, so that happens. (laughs) That, so we work... And they're always a little creepy. Yes. So we were yeah. at a place called Zeppi's. Um, it's a, a nice family restaurant, and, but they have a nice bar and their words are still are there's regulars. Those there's creepy regulars. And you're like, how do how like, you there's, should, there's also employees that have been fired employees. who still come in. And oh, they do. Are uh-huh. like, Hey, good to see you again. Yeah. Oh no. Cause they know where you are. It's oh, a very, you it's, can't get it's away public from public and it's yeah. accessible. Both of us worked there for what? 10. So I was there 12 years. Yeah. yeah. I, um, was one of those guys. Well, I, was, I was in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut, and there was this waitress uh, at this sports bar where I used to go a lot. And if I saw her working there, I would absolutely go. I don't care if I just had lunch. I would go eat again. There she is. And I would think about what should I order so she'll think I'm cool. Like I'm like, maybe I'll get the salad so she doesn't think I'm fat. And I would really overthink like, it. Overthink and it. I would yeah. like four or five days a week go and – and wait on me, and every once in a while, she'd be like, uh, like "Thanks, Susan," with a little her. like heart on the Sorry, eye, and that would keep me going or whatever. Yeah. I did this for like months. Uh, I saw her out one time. Married? No, not oh. married. I saw her out in a different <laughs> restaurant at night, and I was talking to somebody she knew. She kind of looked at me, and I'm like, "I'm like, hey," and she's like, "You look kind of familiar." Have I, like I seen? And I'm like, yeah. I've. Not only tipped you like thousands of dollars, <laughs> I, you've waited on me like 30 times, like really no idea who I was, didn't remember. Now, eventually, to make the story a little bit better, I did eventually date her okay. for a while, but had it had nothing to do, I had no like equity built up from any of that. She didn't sure. remember any of it. I was just another customer, another creepy guy who probably thought she was hot and just came in. <laughs> there were probably a hundred of me and it was white noise to her. She just tuned me out. 
you know. So I had to see her in an environment that was different for her to pay attention because it was just a blur to her. She's well, just you're like working. You, yeah, you know, you she's got your, working. So she blinders on, and you know how to get through the conversation. Yeah, you know you how to read like, the specials and. Give your, like, she, script. Right. Stuff How is your day? What are you up say. to? What are you guys up yeah. to today? She didn't care at all. Yeah. So I. I mean, this was a lot of time you and were money. Really getting in there, doing that, <laughs> thought, thought sliding were really into her sliding DMs. In yeah, I did because I. You know, I went to a lot of places. I had a, a a server once. So football season, I watched the games every week at the same place. A lot of people do that. That's right. Not weird. So this one girl, though, um, she was going. She was talking about. Like money, she she wanted to go to uh, cosmetology school or something like that, mm-hmm. and she's like, "Yeah, I'm trying to get a loan or whatever." And I'm like, "I got a deal for you. I'm going to be here. I'm like, I will pre tip you for 18 weeks of football right now, like up front. Uh-huh. I ordered about the same things. I'm like, I'm like, we'll work this out. Right. So I did that. So I I gave her whatever what like 800 bucks up front, yes, and then smart. I'm like, I'm going to be here. <laughs> She always looked at me weird like I didn't tip her after that. Like I kind of uh, like like at the end she kind of for after like a week it was forgotten and then yeah. my bill would come and she'd be like, huh. And, and I didn't want to keep bringing it up. She's like, no, nah, that wasn't a good deal because I'm still working. <laughs> on Lou. Like she didn't work as hard after that. It was just. A, yeah, it was, yeah, you should. Never I thought it was a, I thought it was a good. That was really generous. But I don't know. if It, was, it worked out for me financially. I'm like, I'm going to be sure. here 16 weeks. Good to go. Bucks pop. Eight, right. Here you go. <laughs> so she got the money. This is awesome. A week later, she'd kind of forgotten that I did that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I felt like, huh? Yeah, I mean, not the it, best strategy. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, yeah, there was another waitress at that bar who who's her, been on Grey's Anatomy for like ten years now. Since that, like, she was. I'm right. like, I should have bet on that you horse. Yeah, you should have. I bet on the wrong her. horse. I should have <laughs> right. paid for her acting classes or Absolutely. something. Yeah, I bet on the wrong Thinking. one. Because you get your. One, you have a relationship. You feel right. cooler as the guy. You know the old norm. Everybody knows your name. If you're somebody who goes into a place a lot, them saying hi and them recognizing you if you are a regular goes a long way. But for them, it's not necessarily they're flirting I, with you. It's not no. <laughs> at all. And like I should also mention my husband, now husband, when he came in, it was his first time ever in there. Like I knew his friend. Yeah. But like his friend and I never had a relationship and he would come in all the time and we'd talk and whatever. But I still remember him as the guy who wore the corduroy j- jacket with uh, elbow patches. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. That's what that's all he was, was the weird guy the elbow that came in guy. by himself with elbow patches. And then he came in with a friend. Was he in your phone as elbow patch guy for a he while? He was not in my phone at all. <laughs> the, the friend, Just not at in. all. Oh, right. yeah, no, yeah. Jason was not in my phone. And then he brought in, he came in with a couple friends. My now husband happened to be a friend. And so that kind of so like if you're really trying to get an in maybe like bring a friend like have like a wingman <laughs> a worse friend though yes yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and because that's always a good move you have a friend who's kind of paying the ass and then you can apologize for the friend and you seem better right, you seem I'm like sorry nicer. he drinks a lot yeah. right yeah. yeah there you go he's going through a tough time and then you seem like a sensitive <laughs> yeah you know? so how what Sugar is the colors. best move so tipping heavily won't necessarily get you no. the girl in no. the bar what's no. the move. I also found it a little weird when people would write on my check, like when they That's would write. That's how I got married. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it but does like, work. I've had people write like, "You got a great butt." Like that. Really? That's yes. Weird. That's just creepy. Now I did like it when they would say, "You did a great job." Like that was nice. So, but, so uh, compliment the service. That's not the most like, flattering. Right. Thing. I mean, for sure, and I'm. Probably the people that wrote you did a good job. Were probably old people. Great ribs, <laughs> nice butt. <laughs> oh my gosh, I like that one. I, I don't need to start writing that. Yeah, I know great, that's good. Great ribs, yeah. No, nice it was. I don't know. I, I guess I didn't realize people were hitting on me if they were hitting on me. I don't know. If I don't that's... know because I like before I met my husband. I mean, there was multiple people that like I would text because they wrote their number on a check. No. Oh, cool. yeah, like. <laughs> I mean, do you do I you, guess I wasn't that pretty because we tell people <laughs> this is the great love debate. So we try and tell people to sort of make their move in a moment. This person is working, but you have a very short um, yeah. minute where that check. Do you you know, is it you know, uh, can I have your can I have the uh, pile of mode and your phone number? No. So I would. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just said it creepy. Yeah, you did. That was a creepy voice. You're like, you said that before. Yeah. No, no. I would say like feel them out in a conversation before you just like put your number. But we yeah. can't tell because a conversation, you always seem like you're nice to us. Yeah. It's but part of the hustle. There's like a. There's <laughs> other maybe, things that come into factor though. Like what are you talking to them about? Like if you might like want to come out later or, you know, like 
say like what are you doing at what time do you get off work then you're putting her in a weird spot i would be weirded out by that don't say that but like (laughs) everything i say is creepy I, I don't know. I, I think guess, it, right. I, it's it's a, it is a fine line because you feel like you're engaging with them. I, you're sharing laughs and you're and you're there's a cha- there's money's changing hands and they're bringing you treats and everybody's happy. How, how do you go move over to uh, when are you working next? No, I would be like, don't probably don't be by yourself. Be like with a group and be like, hey, we're all going out later. If you want to go out, here's my number. And then it's not yeah. like a creepy group hang. Like it's like a group hang kind of. <laughs> a gets couple you of in. us are going to yeah. uh, like Zappies. Applebee's and uh, don't go to Applebee's. <laughs> 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 that, that would be a dead no. A dead hey, they're no having two for no. one at Chili's. You want to be the one? You know, I don't know. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> you want to maybe put some don't meat in the fondue? Ryan's, don't go to melting pot. Pick up lines ever. A- <laughs> they, they're awful. <laughs> Um, no, but it, like a group hang. I'm telling you, a group hang is your in. And then you it is more. It is. Yeah, yeah. That being said, a problem that we hear all the time here from mostly the women is that everything has turned into a group hang. That nobody goes on dates anymore. Nobody steps up, and it's just like meet me and my friends at the craft brewery. Doesn't mm-hmm. seem. Sp- like your intent is right. I feel like that takes the edge off at first, though. So you it, start it makes that it, way. Oh, it makes it easier. And yeah. it's certainly a good way to avoid rejection is, I'm not asking you out. We're just going to be here if you want to show up. <laughs> Do you know where that place is? I get that. But if is there something to be stepped up and just being ballsy and be like, listen, I'm sure you get this all the time. Uh, I, your smile is, is wonderful. I'd love to grab a drink with you when you're off work. See, who does that, though? You know? Right, but that <laughs> sounded good in the that moment. Good. Sounds, Absolutely. Okay, but that never, Not ever That happened. would never happen. That never happened to me. And, I mean, I worked in front of the house. Right. It's, so the problem is we just we don't it's, do it. I, I think some people just don't have that approach. It's but, not like like they're not being genuine when they approach you as well. Like It's not a nice approach. At least... I, but I also I, think that even that... Like, that sounded good when I it said did it. It did sound good, but a one-on-one hang even puts a lot of pressure on the server you just asked Well, out. how's it any different from that if I walked, if, than if I asked you out at Whole Foods? Like, I've never been asked out at Whole Foods. I know. Nobody asks anybody out anymore. That is no, always no. the huge problem. And people want to be asked out more. You want to get a drink sometime or, you know, better... It's too hey, open-ended. <laughs> You want to go get an ice cream when you're off? I don't want dessert now. You want to see a dessert menu? No. But I'd like to get dessert with you when you're not working. Don't, no. don't say dessert. dessert. sounds like you want some. <laughs> you want, yeah. Well, I do don't want some. Don't say dessert. I, know, I would but... say ice cream is different. Yeah. <laughs> dessert. Well, that was dessert a good, has that was a good like entree. Like home. <laughs> yeah. Would you like a dessert? Oh, That's, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, don't use Brian's pickup line. <laughs> chocolate syrup <laughs> exactly <laughs> i've got some pie back at my place yeah um no. it's hard though <laughs> and the bartender just seems like climbing a mountain like there's no way you feel like they've heard everything they work so late you know I think it, it is does because the bartender is not out till the very end that's true it does help though if there's a mutual attraction because like sorry i'm just not attracted to you do you hang around the bar and hope they get cut early from a shift and you see, you, you scout Okay, it. so... You go on a dead night. You hope that that one's going to get sent home early. And then you're like, hey, you have a seat at so the So, like, maybe if there's, like, a bar next door. Like, right? So, you're, like, maybe, you like... Not Applebee's. Brew Bakers. Not Applebee's. So, like, at Zeppie's, <laughs> right, there's a Brew Bakers next door, right? That's, okay. like, a townie bar. Yeah. And so, like, if you just post up at Brew Bakers and you know that... From you've been there a regular a lot of times. You know that a lot of times the whole staff will kind of head over to Brew Bakers. Then you've kind of created a group hang, and you can kind of be like, hey. "That's true. That, that's a really good point." There's usually and uh, you know the Vegas the after hours scene is a built on people who work. Yeah. You know they go at four o'clock in the morning. Right. Or there's a line sometimes at nine o'clock in the morning where people are all dressed up to go into a club because they haven't had their night. There usually is a bar where uh, people go. It's sort of like. Um, for those of you who are familiar with New York City, Joe Allen's in New York City was the place where all the Broadway crew and actors would go after their shows sure. and they would all go there. So you're probably not going to pick up um, the you know ingenue from Chorus Line <laughs> waiting outside the stage door for her to come out. You go to Joe Allen's. Good luck, That's Joe Allen's. And that- they'll be there in a normal yeah. environment. Right. So meeting somebody 
out of their workplace, I think is probably the way to go. And it kind of takes a little bit of pressure off too of yeah. the other person. I mean, when I worked at Smoky Bones in Columbus, we um, had a hospitality. Smoky special. Bones, a strip joint? That sounds like a strip joint. 